They like her body, but they don't like her mind, heart, and personality. A lot of women have sexual options, but they feel like they can get any man in the world. But they don't understand that they just get ran through because a lot of these women have sexual options and they're only going after the men that's already having sex. They're going after the married men, the men that's in relationships, the men that got popularity, the men that got a lot of resources or fame or something like that. They're going after men that got a girlfriend that's already married, that's already in a situation or just don't care about them or not paying them attention. Those are the guys that most women are, they respect and go after. So that's why they get ran through so much. Most women get ran through in their early years. By the time they're ready to settle that, by the time they say, I'm going to deal with somebody that's that like me, that actually paying attention to me, that thing down there, that thing down there, the on button is broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The on button is broke. So, you know, and that's just the way it go. They are very curious about men that's not paying them attention. This, These type of women, which is most, are not paying attention to guys that's available and single. Or even have good behavior. It's not about being good to a woman. You can be the good, the best man in the world. And if they do deal with you, deal with you, it's for control purposes. It's for control purposes. And they are winning in that area. But a lot of women are not winning. They got a lot of sexual options, but not husband material options because they are going after and seeking out the guys that's got their back to them. Married men. A single man, they just want they put him in the friend zone. He have to work real hard or be in the friend zone for a while. Or catch her at the right time. But even the right time, most of the time, she's already ran through. She's already ran through. Most of you guys don't know what ran through is. That means she's been with more than three guys. She's been with more than three guys. That means she ain't got, she ain't learning from her. Uh, guys aren't that clever. That means she's going after something that she can't have. She's chasing the challenge. She's chasing the validation of a married man, a man that's in a relationship, or a man that a lot of women want, or he's dealing with a lot of women. She want to conquer the man that's don't have to have a low interest level in her. She want to conquer that man that's not really paying her attention, the nonchalant guy. So while she's trying to conquer him, she, he's he's jabbing it. He going through, and that good man, in most of the cases, the man who really was paying her had you know really trying to get to know her and have her in his best interest, he's going to get leftovers. Salvation Army backbone. You know what I mean when I say backbone, right? I got to word stuff strange on on here because they so sensitive in your in their words. And then, you know, but um, you got to understand what type of world we're living in. We're living in a world where Women are getting worshipped, you know, and there's nothing wrong with the money they're making from OnlyFans and they're getting, you know, thousands over top of thousands of OnlyFans. It's changing the whole mechanics because you got girls that used to work at McDonald's now making 10000 a month. And a lot of hardworking bougie women or classy women or educated women are really upset that they're making this type of money. By doing that, because they ain't get no college degree, they ain't have to smile, they ain't have to take no tests, so they kind of messed up about that. They messed up the fact that they reaping all these, they opening nail shops and they opening hair salon shops and stuff. Ten thousand dollars a month, you can do a lot with that. You can do a lot with that, especially coming from working at McDonald's and, and dealing with all that and. You know, that's the type of world we're living in. You never know what they're going to create that's going to change 
a person life or a group of people life but is it, stuff is changing stuff is changing y'all and um you just got to understand that when when you're dealing with this type of woman you know that thinks she is on top of the world and every man want her it's not cream cheese she can't understand why she's single when so many men want her she always thinks she's one step away from meeting that money guy with a strong ham bone that's tall that got money and romantic and funny and patient all these characteristics and she ain't got no personality these guys don't like her even when she meet a guy that got a lot of he don't like her, but she look good enough, he will smash. He don't have no problem with smashing her. But he's not going to um he's not gonna wife her. He's not gonna wife her. He's not gonna take her seriously. And year after year, she's gonna catch about five to six bodies in a about five bodies a, a year. A lot of these girls get like five bodies a year. Some of them guys, they, you know, they get a body too out of anger, frustration, sexual needs, sexual frustration on get back to the guy. They think they're getting somebody back to the guy that left them, you know, and they figure if they give somebody else the um, backbone that they mind and get off of the other guy. So they got all these tricks they use their body for, you know, it's their body. They do what they want, but. All I'm saying is, uh, women don't have the options that they think they have. They don't have husband options. They have sexual options. It's the big difference between a person that will have sex with you and a person that's going to take you seriously and care about your mind, heart, and personality. Anybody could be around you when you, you know, when you're attractive or when you're on top of what you're doing. But how many people can be around you when you broke, sad, got a headache, stinking, down on your luck, and there's that angelic voice in your ear telling you it's going to be all right? So you got to understand, in this world, in this world, women have a lot of sexual options, but they don't have a lot of husbands because they don't even know what to look for. If they going after guys that's already having sex with a woman, they might they might be missing out on a good guy. And the guy that ain't having sex with a woman, not getting attention, he might be better than the guys that's getting all the, you know, that's getting the praise by all the women. You know, you got to understand that. But it, it it makes women delusional when they go out there and they get hollered by so many guys. They say one of these guys got to have some money. One of these guys got to be be able to buy a building, own, you know, owning some some property or something like that. But it's not. It don't operate like that. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. It don't operate like that because most of these guys are married and do have girlfriends. But they feel like they work so hard enough that they they feel like they deserve extra extra backbone from a different woman. So, you know, a lot of these guys, women got to understand, they got to be careful what they want, what they ask for. They got to be careful for all that because it's not, everything is not what it seemed to be. We live in a world where there are known knowns and unknown unknowns. It's stuff that we don't even know we don't know. But... You got to maintain your composure with these women. I tell all my clients to maintain your composure with, <coughs> with these women. Because if you don't, you're going to get ate up and spit it out. I'm Alan Williams, the Realionaire. Check out my latest single, I Love Your Walk. And leave me alone. Remember I love you, but Jesus Christ love you more.
Hit the bell, hit the like, check out the next video. All right? Always remember, ladies, don't mistake sexual options for husband options. And a lot of guys who just want sex or don't can't get no, they'll marry you because...